Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Adil, English version school bonding ship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 17 of annual term and today's ASW number will be 11. And my dear student, our today's topic name, chapter 12. The name of the chapter is time. Okay. From exercise 12, we shall solve question number 4, 5 and 6 as your CW. And question number 6, sub number 1, 2 will be your SW. You must do your SI in SW in your SW copy and submit it regularly in our school library in every Saturday within 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So my dear student, let us start our class. I have already written question number 4, 5 and 6 on the board. So first of all, we read question number 4 to solve this problem. So here exercise 12 for number question is the year 2016 was a leap year and January 1 of the year 2016 was Friday. What day of week was December 31 of the year 2016? So my dear student, do you know a year suppose uh, first January first January is suppose Friday okay a year start with the day Friday okay and when that year finished that means 31 December then that day must be Friday then that day must be Friday, F R I D A Y. Okay, but my destiny I repeat when a year start with the day Friday, then that day must be finished the same day. That means if the day is uh, uh, start, if the year start with Friday, then the year last with Friday also. But when that year is leap year, that means one day is increased. So one day will be increased when it finished. That means Friday plus one day. That means it is Saturday. Okay. So the similarly we shall solve question number four. The year 2016 was a leap year and January 1 of the year 2016 was Friday. 2016 was Friday. What was the what day of the week was December 31 of the year. That means so easy math. Uh, my dear student, when this question uh, is come in your uh, question paper, then it is come as short question. So you need the answer only. No need to solve the whole math. You write the answer only. So four number questions given that the year 2016 was a leap year. And first January 2016 was Friday. So 31 December 2016 was Friday plus 1. That means Saturday. Answer. Saturday. I hope you have understood. Next, question number 5. What number of century was each of the following year? Here, 108. My dear student, we know 1 century equal to 100 year. Okay, 1 century equal to 100 years. So, 1008, that means it is 1000 plus 8. Okay. So, one century has already completed and another century is come. That means it is second century. It is second century. So, here we write number one, second century. Then, two number. Here, 1000. 15. That means we write this number as 
10 multiply 100 plus 15. That means 10 sensory has been completed and another sensory comes. That means 10 plus 1. 11 century. So, the answer of second question is 11th century. Okay. And the last one. 3. 2001. So, here you notice 2001. We can write this as 20 multiply 100 plus 1. That means here 20 century has already completed and another century already come here that means one sensory is added with 20 and it will be 21th century. 21th century. Okay. Now, which century is going on now? My dear student, it is 21 century. I hope you have understood. Question number 4 and 5 done. Next, we shall solve question number 6. So, answer the following question. Suppose one month equal to 30 days. By using this hint, we shall solve question number 1 and 2. Convert 10 years equal into days. My dear student, convert 10 years into days. Here, 10 years. So, here, as one month equal to 30 days, that means month is given. So, we use month first. That means, at least we convert year into month. That means 10 into 12. That means we know that 1 year equal to 12 months. So, 10 year equal to how many months? It's more than. So, we, it will be multiplication. That means 10 multiplied 12 uh, months. Here, we give side note. That means 1 month equal to, sorry, 12 months equal to 1 year. Okay. So, now we do multiplication. That means here we use easy multiplication process. So, 12 is multiplied with 1 and it will be 12 bonds are known and 0 is placed here. So, 120 months. But the question asks you to find the answer into days. So, now we convert this month into day. So, we know 1 month equal to 30 days. Multiply 30. Okay, 30 days. Here we give side note. 30 days equal to 1 month. I hope you have understood. Now we do multiplication 0 and 0. Okay, 3 12 are 36. So, 3600 days is the answer of this question. My dear student, when these hints is not given, then you can convert this in another way. We know that 1 year equal to 365 days. So, 10 year equal to how many days? You just multiply that 365 with 10 and you get the answer. I repeat. You can also convert this year into days by using 1 year equal to 365 days. So, 1 year equal to 365 days. So, 10 year equal to how many days? You just multiplication and you get the answer. But uh, in that case, it is not given. In that case, it is not given. So, this is done. Next, we shall solve our last problem. That means, question number 2 of 6. Express 1000 years into month, day and hour. That means, we... Uh, so, it is not years, it is hours. At first, we convert this hour into hour after that day, after that month. So, Please look at the board number 6. So, here 6 to number question. We know that 24 hours equal to 1 day. Therefore, 1000 hours equal to 1000 divided by 24 Day. Okay. Now we divide this 1000 by 24. Here we show the division procedure. 24 divided by 1000 in 100. 24 goes in 4 times. 4 4 is 16. And 4 2 is 8 on 9. If we subtract, then we get 4. And 0 is placed here. In 40, 24 goes in 1 times. That means 24 on 24. When we subtract, 
then we get 16. So, 41 days and 16 hours. So, single unit card that means already we find out hours. Okay, time is given. Now, oh, sorry, you must show this here. Okay, now we convert this 41 days into month and we know 30 days equal to 1 month. Therefore, 41 days equal to 41 divided by 30 month. So, here we show the division procedure. 30, 41 in 41, 30 goes in on times, 31 the 30, subtract and we get 11. So, 1 month and 11 days. So, dear student, notice month is given, days is given and hours is also. So, we write here, the answer is 1 month, 11 days and 16 hours. My dear student, you must solve six number question in your SW copy and submit it in our school. Okay. So, my dear student, I hope you have understood my today's lecture. Keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamu alaikum.